we're sewing underwear. Yeah, you heard that right. Welcome to the Sewing Report. I'm Jennifer Moore, helping you discover your love of sewing. And I bought this kit off of Etsy from a shop called Evie La Louvre. Very fancy pants. So this kit comes with, all right, so it comes with some stretch lace. Woo, woo, woo. Um, some scrap jersey fabric for the crotch. I don't know why, but saying the word crotch just makes me feel uncomfortable. It comes with some fold over elastic, or as I've seen on the internet, FOE. I don't know, I guess just a fancy abbreviation. And I guess with this stuff, you can put either the matte side or the shiny side and the outside. And then it comes with a very delicate looking bow for that final touch. So, all right, so let's get into things. And for this, she does recommend you use a serger or an overlocker if you have one. You can use a zigzag stitch if you don't, it's not a big deal. Especially since, um, I don't know, does lace spray? I'm not really sure. And I also watched her video on mirroring uh, this lace, so that's cool. Ooh, ooh. Well, that's fancy looking, huh? All right. And obviously I'm using my trusty Ulfa tools in this video. And to keep the pattern intact, I'm going to be tracing my pattern pieces. You know, what if I gain like 50 pounds and then I'm a large? You know, I want to be able to have options here in case my size changes. I don't want to commit to just being this size. I guess you're supposed to go about your hip measurement for the sizing. So since I'm a 37 and a half, I'm allegedly a small. So, okay, so the first thing I'm going to do, I'm actually going to just trace out this. All right, let me get rid of this real quick. And then we'll bring it back. That's why this is nice that it folds. So if you have pattern tissue and it's like really folded and creased, hit it with a dry iron and your problems will be over. So I will be back. We're just, we're just going to lay this out and then I'm going to trace the pieces to keep my fancy looking parchment paper pattern nice. I just have some basic supplies here like paper scissors, rotary cutter, mat, pins, other stuff I think I'll need. And when I'm actually tracing my pattern pieces, I use this air soluble purple marker. I like it because it doesn't get on anything and it will disappear. So I'm just going to go ahead and trace the crotch. Okay, so the crotch you're supposed to cut one out of the jersey lining and one out of the stretch lace. We're just going to trace along the lines and actually I should probably be getting something to hold this down. Sometimes I like to use my pin cushion to hold stuff down. I find that works pretty okay. And then we're going to make new pattern pieces out of what we traced. I buy these rolls on Amazon. They're real cheap. It's just tracing paper. And I think it was like $10 for a roll of like 50 yards. And I'm actually making my way through it. It's uh, definitely using this quite often. And I will link everything I use below so you can hopefully find it. I wonder how you become a lingerie designer in the first place. I imagine that's part of fashion school. But, like, what do you do when you tell people, yeah, for college I'm, I'm going to school for designing underwear. That's got to be a pretty good conversation starter there. So... Evie, or I think your real name is Hannah, I want to know. I, I really want to know. So please feel free to comment or email me at sewingreport at gmail.com and let me know what you think of this horrible video. This is probably the fastest I've ever traced and cut out a pattern in my entire life. Normally on my pattern pieces, I just label the name of the pattern and the size and the piece and how many you need to cut. We've got the pattern pieces cut out. Now we're going to cut our fabric. So the first one I'm going to do is obviously the crotch section. Basically, I'm just trying to orient orient this so I can have an easier time doing it. All right, that worked out okay. So she recommends laying this out, giving yourself a little bit of room, and then cutting this a little bit past what you need, and then mirroring these pieces. All right, so let's try to do this. Okay. We'll, we'll give my, I'll give myself a little bit of leeway here just in case. This is really pretty lace, by the way. You want your lace pattern to match pretty exactly. Yeah, this, this stuff is definitely kind of tricky to work with. Um, yeah, definitely take, 
take your time. Don't do this super fast because you want to make sure your panties look nice, right? Cut all the lace pieces. Okay. I do like using the rotary cutter to cut my pattern pieces. It just does go quite a bit faster. All right, time for a power surge with the Brother 1034D. I'm going to test out some scraps just to see how they do. And forgive the tripod in the shot, I'm using two cameras so you can get a better view of what is happening. So I'm just going to take a scrap and do a little test. I've got it on the narrowest stitch that I have, which is more than two eighths. So hopefully this will work because this is all I got, Evie Lulu. Um, I may have to change the differential feed. I'm kind of impressed with how this is running through the serger. I'm not going to lie. Okay. The differential feed needs to be taken down a couple notches because it's still very much gathering and you don't want that. This is why it's good to use scrap pieces first. Right people? Alright, let's try another one. I got it on the lowest setting possible. Actually, that's not bad. Okay, let me, this is the lowest it can go. I think that's okay. It's not terrible. It's pretty thin. This definitely seems to be a pretty strong stitch width. Okay, here we go. Uh, this seems to be going okay so far. Be very careful with the lace because obviously you do want everything to match. And make sure you do pick a serger or a sewing machine thread that actually does match your material. Otherwise, it, like if I used green thread, this would look super weird. I'm really glad I used so many pins. So I've got my first seams done. Yeah, okay. Oh, I see how this is going together. So this is the under, okay, so it's going to sort of go like this. Okay, so this is the front and this is the back. Woo woo. Alright, and now I'm supposed to turn this right side out. I will be right back. I'm just going to press this real quick, hit this with an iron, and then I'll be right back, okay? Well, we've got a crotch. So I guess the next step is to pin this to the front and backs and then serge those edges. Okay, so you want to do, again, right sides together. You make sure you're matching up the middle in the middle here. Okay, so I can do that. I can do that, right? It's actually a pretty simple project. I was kind of surprised at how easy. I'll show you how I weave my serger tails in. So I just run my finger through it like this. Cut it off so I give myself a good distance. I've got a needle. Mine's kind of large, but you can really use any size with a fairly decently big eye. So I'm just going to put my tails in here and they should, you should be able to grab everything and then basically just take your needle and then run it through like a bunch of these loops and then pull through and then cut off the excess and you shouldn't really have any problems. Just have to add the fold over elastic. So the first thing I'm going to do is sew them right sides together. I made sure to put the fold over elastic inside first and then we're going to sew it to the outside of the waistband just for a neater finish. Well, now I can say that I've sewn a sexy pair of lingerie, and here's my thoughts on the Evie LaLouve lingerie kit. So the good, I think it's cool that this actually looks a lot like the product photo. So this is actually attainable for the average person. I've never sewn underwear before in my life, and I think this pair, I could walk into Victoria's Secret and see something just like it. 
I like the price. The kit with everything included was $20, and that's after the conversion from pounds to the US dollar. And I actually ordered a second kit, so that made it more worthwhile. I think the pattern was easy to follow. The fact that she's got a video tutorial is great. That actually swayed me to purchase the kit, knowing that I had that extra support. So here's where I had some trouble. I did try these on. They're way too small. They fit, but like comically, like they're real stretched out and they definitely do not look sexy at all on me. I do have a bit of an abnormal body shape. My hip size really isn't in proportion to my waist size. My waist size is a little on the larger side and I'm working on that, but it's hard. So the sizing depends on your hip size. I actually wouldn't go by that. I probably could have cut out a medium or large. I actually, if I make these again, I'm gonna cut out the large size just to see how different the fit is because when I put these on, it was clear that they were way too small. So now I've got a sexy pair of panties that don't really fit me, but they look super cute. So I'm definitely gonna take some pictures. So yeah, if you are gonna make these, I would not depend on this hip measurement just solely to make your decision. If you're not sure about the sizing, I would cut out one to two sizes larger because you can always shave off excess but you can't add more of this lacy fabric back on. I will say I was impressed with how quickly you can make this. You can make this in about an hour. I thought that was great. And I think the pattern itself and I think the finished product looks super, super awesome. So Evie Louvre, I would definitely be interested in trying more of your products, but maybe some different styles. And now I know for next time that I need to go up one or two sizes just because I have a slightly larger waist than my hip measurements portray. So if you're thinking about trying out one of these Evie Lelouf products, just make sure to keep those factors in mind and you won't be disappointed. But overall, I think the quality of the product and the pattern is excellent. I just think for me, I needed to go up a couple sizes and I would have been fine. But you know, hey, just you live, you learn, you try new things, it's all good. So if you have any questions about this product review or anything else, feel free to leave it in the comments. And if you'd like to see more videos like this one, be sure to subscribe to The Sewing Report for lots more. And I will see you next time. I'm Jennifer Moore.